Hello, what a lovely day. How are you doing? I hope you are doing very, very good, very, very well. Awesome. We've been talking about some basic computer concept, right? You probably have write your first programming, first code. Okay. And from this chapter, from this module, okay, I would like to tell you some basic building blocks and what kind of attitude or approach might be helpful when you approach the different programming language. Okay. So uh, the topic for today is uh, how to how to learn programming. How to learn programming. Programming. Yeah, let me put it another color right here, right? Okay. Yeah, this is a quite uh, huge topic. Uh, if you ask a different people, they may gotta give you the different answer. Okay. Uh, but from my personal point of view, uh, you need to find the right way, the one way, or some other ways that suit you and give you some satisfaction along the journey. Okay. Uh, because of programming, uh, you will encounter sometimes uh, learning about the programming language syntax we call the grammar. Okay. And you will need to uh, consult maybe the book reference manual. Okay. Which nowadays you can do online very conveniently. Okay. And then you will uh, experience some uh, computer systems and the complexity of the computer systems. Okay. So knowing about how computer works and some basic fundamental concept about the binary, hexadecimal, operating system, file system, and network concept that all help you uh, along with this journey. Okay. And then, of course, I've been talking about uh, having a good mindset, growth mindset. Okay. It's quite important. And uh, develop your debugging skills. Uh, making mistakes is common, it's quite normal when we write a program. Even experienced uh, programmer, yeah, we made a mistake, we have the bugs. Okay. So those kind of things uh, we need to uh, prepare first. Okay. And one important concept uh, is that not just watch the video or, or by looking at uh, uh, other people's write code or copy from the textbook. You need to kind of uh, test the new command and uh, try to put the new maybe your learning point into your personal practice okay so why do i why do i mention about this okay because i see a lot of students nowadays too convenient on the internet resources allow us to to kind of just search and copy in the past. Um, um, most of this kind of learning, uh, yeah, could be could be uh, could be work for a small segment uh, in special case. But when when you start to integrate. Uh, integrate them or make it a part of your system, you will start to generate some bugs. Okay, so it's always a good idea, not just a copy paste from the example. It could be the very beginning, but also try to put the command into your real 
your own real practical application. Okay, which means uh, uh, you are starting to think, how am I going to use this in for for my project? Okay, probably you don't need this command. Uh, you don't need these instructions. Okay, probably yes, you you need to. But you doesn't have to learn every single single syntax so that to start a project. Okay, so uh, learn from the example, learn from actually doing, learn from making mistakes, learn from the debugging process. Okay, and be be optimistic. Okay, always have the room to improve all the time. Okay. Okay, that's a that's a basic first step information I'd like to share with you. And later on the chapter, uh, we will talk some common feature in the programming, because uh, when we write a program, it's it's like uh, actually our program will be uh, will be stored inside a we call a memory, right? No matter it's a uh, compiled binary file or uh, interpreting uh, interpreter language, high level language like Python or JavaScript, yeah, your code will be in the in the file. Okay, let's assume uh, this is your code. So what your code basically is running, it's uh, like logic, uh, sequential logic, okay, one line after the other. Sometimes you will have a branch. Sometimes you will have uh, what we call a looping, okay. And sometimes, uh, uh, in order to deal with some particular feature, you will make a we call a function call. Okay, so those kind of feature is quite common in the computer computer programming. Okay, uh, we'll deal with that in the later. And also, uh, some programming language will uh, uh, some particular input. Uh, for example, input from the keyboard. Okay, input. Input from the file, and may allow you to uh, detect the mouse click, like a JavaScript. Allow you to uh, detect maybe the MIDI MIDI keyboard uh, pressing maybe in the Sony Pi. So all kinds of input normally from the external uh, event. Okay. Also, uh, we will have output. Okay, output. Let's say output. Yeah, the most common output will be print out, right? You print out on the screen, print character or display image or some events that maybe show the video. Okay, so all kinds of different output and make a sound like in the music programming. So, or even write back the data to the file or to another web uh, remote site. Okay, so those are the output. Okay, so this is uh, what the computer actually do. Uh, we take the input, we process, right? We write to the output, or may we provide our intermediate data for the next uh, module. Okay, so this is uh, quite a basic concept. Okay, and one other things that we uh, when we learn the programming language. We will learn the variable. Okay. We we are going to use a lot of variable uh, from the one single element variable or uh, we call a arrays or list or a lot of more complex advanced variable like Python dictionaries, etc. But variable, the feature of the variable is 
the purpose of the variable is for us to keep the data, right? And then we can update it after doing some calculation or manipulation based on uh, your algorithm. Okay. Also, maybe you have a particular uh, particular problem you want to solve. And here's what the algorithm fit in. Okay, you write a program based on uh, ways to a uh, way, not ways, <laughs> ways to solve the problem, right? Uh, for example, sorting. Sorting means make a uh, data element in maybe in an order, in a ascending order or descending order. Okay. Maybe it's just a parsing of something. But variable is quite common, how to declare, how to define the variable. And when we learn the variable, we will learn the data data type. OK, some data type is, um, is, is character. Some are strings. OK, string means a se sequence of character. Some can store the binary information, the image. Okay. Some can can manipulate uh, integer, integer. Okay. Could be uh, signed integer or unsigned integer. Different programming language. Or some may allow you have a decimal number. We call a uh, floating number. Okay. So those are quite common uh, in computer language. Okay, well, no matter what kind of programming language you are going to use, or going to learn, you will face, you will encounter the similar thing. So, which is good. Once you experience one and learn thoroughly, uh, this kind of knowledge can be applied, reapplied to a new language when you learn some. The new language can be uh, a little bit different, maybe in the syntax, but overall logic, the way the computer function is quite similar. They could have uh, some syntax, okay? You you need to get used to, uh, but I believe that with this kind of uh, structure in mind, would definitely help you to learn different languages, okay? So uh, some programming language also support object oriented. Okay, object oriented. What is uh, what is that? Okay, we'll talk about that. Okay, many uh, Python have a object oriented concept, and Ruby and JavaScript too. So most advanced, modern, high level language have this all this kind of feature. Okay, so those are the. Uh, general patterns that uh, in different programming language. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, I will see you next time. Bye bye.